Before we start the video essay, I want to have a quick moment of silence for Akira Toriyama. The news of him passing away on March 8th, 2024 really did stop my world. In fact, this was the most I have ever cried in my life. It still doesn't feel real and I don't want to accept the truth. However, as long as his work is talked about and praised, he will never truly be gone. In the words of Ichiro Oda, creator of One Piece, I hope that heaven is just as pleasant as the one you envisioned in your manga sensei. Thank you for creating this masterpiece of an anime, and I hope you are in paradise knowing how much your manga influenced the world. I'm going to change the future. This is for Gohan! I'm sure you already know which character I am talking about. The best dress, sword boy, legendary introduction, and the man who plays no games, Trunks. Trunks is one of the most well-liked characters in Dragon Ball Z. We will address the super counterpart later in this video, but before we start, make sure to drop a like on the video, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Now if you were to ask me how I feel about Trunks, specifically Future Trunks, I would say he is a 9 out of 10 character, almost perfect in my opinion. Probably my third or fourth favorite in Dragon Ball Z. I know I will have to address Kid Trunks eventually, but let's not start the hate trend towards Kid Trunks. In this video, I will be talking about how Trunks is one of the most tragic characters in Dragon Ball Z, hell, even in Dragon Ball Super. From the original anime, the future Trunks special, and even Dragon Ball Super, our favorite sword boy has gone through a lot of pain and trauma. Sit back, relax, grab your snacks, and let's deep dive into why Trunks is one of the most tragic characters in Dragon Ball Z. Future Trunks is introduced to the story when Frieza's army comes to Earth looking for Goku. This is after Goku had defeated Frieza and went to Yarrat to train. We see this new character who does not resemble any of the characters that we have previously seen. He shows up and immediately addresses Frieza and says, I'm going to destroy you. And we see that he is not joking at all. Trunks shows macho-ness and confidence because he knows that Frieza is not strong enough to fight a Super Saiyan like himself. Trunks makes quick work on the Frieza Force without even breaking a sweat. We later see him do his legendary Shining Slash against Frieza and then obliterates King Cold almost instantly. And wow, what can we say? A character introduction that does not disappoint at all. Cool, calm, and collective is our legendary sword boy from the future. We soon learn that he is the son of Vegeta, Bulma, and that he has showed up from the future. He comes to warn the Z fighters of the impending danger that is coming, which are the androids. Now the audience does not know how Trunks got to the timeline, the present one, how he turned into a Super Saiyan, or really anything about him. However, we learn that future Trunks' timeline has gone through the worst hell imaginable. Future Gohan ends up getting destroyed by the androids in one of the saddest ways possible. The one-armed Saiyan is obliterated by multiple key blasts, which becomes the reason that a young Future Trunks turns into a Super Saiyan. Watching the development of Future Trunks as a kid made us feel very sympathetic towards him. Even as an adult, I do feel very bad for him. But we must ask this question, as a Saiyan, why did he run to the present to warn the Z Fighters? Well, the truth is, Future Trunks couldn't believe he could win against the androids in his timeline and was secretly wanting help. Trunks didn't have the confidence that he could defeat them without the help of the Z Fighters, specifically Goku and Vegeta. Especially since everyone died at the hands of the androids in this timeline. We know Goku didn't even have a chance to fight them due to the heart disease. What we don't know is what would have happened if Goku didn't die during the future timeline. Could he have been the factor to save everyone from the androids or would fate have been the same? Ironically, the androids in the present timeline were significantly stronger than the future versions of themselves. During this time, we see Trunks truly desire a relationship with his real father and seek approval. However, Vegeta shows no interest in building a relationship with him and instead exposes how weak Trunks is. This was perfectly demonstrated during the first encounter with the androids. When Trunks fired his key blast at the sleeping androids, everyone was happy he did that, excluding Vegeta. Vegeta wanted to fight the androids to see if they could compare to him in strength based on their horrific reputation given by Trunks. This terrifies Trunks, but he realized that was the factor he didn't have within himself, confidence in his unbound power as a Saiyan. Let's remember, as a half Saiyan, he has more potential than Vegeta and could have easily destroyed the androids and semi-perfect cell with proper training and 
battle knowledge. The more that I think about it, Trunks does not have any meaningful relationships outside of what he had with future Trunks. He gets to the past timeline and meets Goku, who was extremely kind to him. In fact, all the Z fighters were kind to him, which is clearly something he desired. He finally gets to develop a relationship with his mother when they are not under the destruction of the androids. One thing that many people like about Trunks is that he does not play around with his food. He does not fight for ego, surpassing strength, etc. He fights to protect the people he loves. If Trunks knows he can defeat his opponent, he would destroy them. We see him do that once he returns to the future, once Cell is defeated in the present timeline. Even after he defeats the androids and Cell and everything seems fantastic, but let's remember, he is the last person left during the timeline. Even with all the strength in the world, the ability to defeat potentially any foe that he may come across, he is still alone in the future. This is what truly hurts the most when I look at the bigger picture. I'll quickly talk about Future Trunks and some of the Z movies that we have seen. The three movies I will quickly go over are Broly, The Legendary Super Saiyan, Dragon Ball Z Bojack, and Dragon Ball Z The History of Trunks. In the Broly movie, we see that Trunks has a typical fit and he is willing to fight against Broly even with no chance of winning. Quite frankly, nobody in that movie had a chance to win against the legendary Super Saiyan himself. But due to his resilient nature, he was going to give it all he got regardless of the outcome. In the Bojack movie, we see that Trunks continues to fight and eventually kills Kogu in a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, editor knows. Why does Kogu kind of seem like the worst version of Broly regarding the hairstyle and him transforming into a bigger form and green? Also, after Trunks got knocked the hell out by Bojack, that somehow woke up Vegeta? That was crazy and he had a legendary entrance while bringing our favorite sword boy's sword back to him. And, 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 if Vegeta would have trained during this timeline and didn't get trolled by Toriyama, he would have cleared Bojack no problem. Anyways, lastly, we will talk about the movie that matters the most regarding Trunks' character. Future Gohan trains Trunks to prepare him for the battle against the androids one day. Gohan knows he must go and fight out the androids in his last stand, so he decides to knock out Trunks to make sure he does not try to interfere. By the time Trunks wakes up and goes to the battlefield to see a dead Gohan, we know what happens next. Pain, sorrow, and rage consume Trunks and he turns into a Super Saiyan. All right, let's go ahead and talk about future Trunks during Dragon Ball Super. I know many people did not like the fact that Trunks got his purple hair changed, lost a lot of his muscle mass, and regressed back to what he was before he met the Z Fighters the first time. Ideally, he ran back to the past seeking the help of Goku and Vegeta, which Vegeta was rightfully mad about because he did that before regarding the androids and he knows he did not keep up with his training. Even with future Trunks coming back, nothing changed at all. It did seem and feel like a remix of the Future Trunks saga from Dragon Ball Z. Regardless of the power scaling, somehow Super Saiyan Trunks was equivalent to Super Saiyan Blue and he was able to fight out Zamasu and Goku Black when Goku and Vegeta couldn't. Now hold on, wait a minute. Maybe in the manga, the story was presented a bit better, but in the anime, it was not made any different than what we see in Z. Yes, it was cool seeing a father-son Gala gun and a spirit sword. But when it comes to Trunks' character, nothing changed at all and well, that is all I'm going to say regarding Future Trunks in Dragon Ball Super. The best way to describe Future Trunks is resilient. Dark circumstances, death of family and friends, and a planet being ravaged by the androids created Future Trunks. All Trunks wanted to do was change the future and protect the loved ones that he loved. Trunks is full of sorrow, loss, and the unwavering will that we see in our character but for different reasons. Vegeta has an unwavering will due to pride and him wanting to be the best of the best. Surpassing Goku is the only goal that he has. This is what makes Future Trunks a fan favorite because of his kind-hearted nature and how he is one of the best dressed Dragon Ball characters. I truly love the fact that Future Trunks is the face of resilience and how he would do anything to protect his friends. One thing that many people do not talk about enough is his interaction between Vegeta during the Android Saga. Vegeta rejected Trunks at almost every turn despite knowing he was his son. When Vegeta got his arm broken by Android 18, Trunks did not hesitate to jump in to save his father. The same man who had treated him like absolute garbage because he seeked approval from his father. He did everything in his power to make his father proud and even saved his ego when he was fighting a semi-perfect cell. He thought he was stronger than Vegeta because of the ascendant form that gave him incredible strength at the cost of speed. Something Vegeta figured out because he was an experienced fighter, unlike Trunks. 
Vegeta only cared for Trunks once he got killed by Cell when he returned after he blew himself up and Goku was blowing the hell up too. We see a rage out of Vegeta that we have never seen before during any of the sagas, him realizing how poorly he treated Trunks and how all he wanted to do was seek the approval of him gave him the awareness that he needed. Immediately, he lunges at Cell to avenge his son while knowing he had no chance to win. In another universe, Vegeta would have achieved Super Saiyan 2 and fried Cell with a final flash and boom, that is the end of the Cell Saga. Regardless, Future Trunks is a fan favorite and one of the best characters in the entire series. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and remember to be like Future Trunks. Protect those you love and always remain resilient during difficult times. Remember, leave a like and a comment on the video, share it with your friends, and most importantly, have a great day. If you would like to support the channel more, click that join button, leave a super thanks, and even join the Patreon for exclusive content. Don't get mad, thank you the booty, I'm out of here, peace. Actually, before I head out, what is one of your favorite Future Trunks moments and what is his best outfit? In my opinion, it has to be the fit during the BoJack movie, he was dripped out. Alright, I'm going to head out now. Remember, work hard, study well, eat and sleep plenty, that's the turtle hermit way to learn. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama, you will be missed.